J. B dude's back. Alan's standing right over there. You know, we've been out of uniform. Yes, you we You finally have. are conforming <laughs> to the to the standards of, of the uh, Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen Bee Dude. There's a, there's a beehive right behind you. I don't know if you know. Yep. We're not the least bit perturbed. Nice bunch of bees. Doesn't happen every time, though, does it? No. Now, usually in the springtime, they get really aggressive. I had to talk with them. They seem to be fairly calm. Well, maybe you could talk to some of I got. <laughs> well, we are very fortunate. We talked about the fact that our, my bees made it through the winter. Mm -hmm. They're thriving. They're bringing pollen in. Uh, we looked at it the other day. Everything's good to go. But you said there's something that we need to do, and that is? Split the box. Split the box. Yep. Meaning take the half the population of bees somewhere else. Not quite half, but uh, we are going to take quite a bit out mm -hmm. of them and give them a chance. I did get a, a queen. We do have a queen to stick in the new box. So it makes it a lot faster. Let's talk about that. You say you buy a new queen, you can go to, to dance right down here and when he gets them in. Right. You buy a queen so you can take these fellows over here and start a new hive. You can't take this queen and take them out of this box and put them in another box and expect them to take her in. It won't happen. Everybody's got to have the same smell, so we're going to try that. So, you're gonna, so you can give them a different scent. Now, yeah. can we take a look at that queen? Where's that queen? They've got a couple old friends with them to help them out. And there's some, what is that in the There's plug? candy. It's uh, white candy they put in there. Today we're going to pull candy out after I spray her down and spray the bees that we're taking out of the box. And we're going to put them all together. And, and see we're how like, they... hey, we're all buds because we smell like vanilla. Everybody smells the same, and that's the main thing. So we're going to split this hive. You've got another box set up right down the way here. It's what, 50, 60 feet, maybe even more, 100 feet? Yep, 60 feet. They recommend at least 50 right. to keep the bees from going that you're taking out, going back to the original box. Now the bees we're taking out is house bees. What's a house bee? House bee is the ones that maintain inside the box mm -hmm. until they, you could say, graduate and move out to start collecting pollen. And what is the lifespan of a bee? How long does a bee typically live? People say six weeks. Mm -hmm. And I believe six weeks after they hit the field, people say they wear themselves out or they die of the work of bringing backwards and forwards. Older people say they wear their wings out. So they say six weeks. So that's not a very long lifespan. No, that's the reason why she can lay up to 2,000 eggs a day, if not more. Wow. To keep the population going and keep everybody fed. Unbelievable. There is so much to this beekeeping. It's so fascinating. And you do this all the time. And you say you still learn every day. Yes, I do. I've what's, been... what's something you've learned recently that you didn't know? I had a boy tell me one time that he takes a towel in the wintertime and puts between his inner cover and his top to keep them warm through the wintertime. And any moisture inside that box, the towel absorbs it. Said he's never lost a hive. Wow. Yes. Now, you all shamed me into it. You said, it's time, Farmer, it's time to suit up. Well, you know they're gentle. I know they're gentle. We're standing right here. I mean, they ain't going to bother you. I mean, the worst thing you can do is get stung. But I've, these guys, I think, that, like you say, the more you're around them, the more they accept you, unless they're an evil bunch. Main thing is move slow. Yeah. The slower you move, the better off you are. All right, let's suit up. I'm going to need help. Okay. I'm suited up. This is cool. You know what? I was a little bit shy about doing this because I had been zinged before when I wasn't supposed to get zinged. There's times when I'm going to have to check them. You guys, you know, you're going to kind of, I got training wheels. You're going to kick the training wheels off. Oh, yeah. Say, nice. Farmer, uh, you're on your own, dude. So we're going to split this half. Yep. Just kind of tell us what you're doing as we go along. Okay. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is locate the queen that's in the box. Mm -hmm. She's got to stay in the box. I don't personally like taking them from the box that she's originally in. Mm -hmm. So once we locate her, put her to the side, knowing that she can't get on another frame, then we're going to start pulling frames out. It's got plenty of bees on it and brood hatching, plus locate eggs, just in case they don't accept this queen. Gotcha. Always have a backup. All right. Would you say you're probably at the, one of the most critical points right here right now? Yeah, definitely. If you don't get that bees in that box to accept this queen, then you've got a major problem. They know this is a queen. Does she give off a pheromone? She does a pheromone, and she does a clicking sound. Now, are they liking her or hating her right now? Well, what they're after right now, they're mostly after those workers. Their workers really get them stirred up. It's in there with the queen. Really? So we're fixing to calm them down. Get them all smelling the same. Get them all smelling the same. Then, in theory, you should be able to turn the queen loose. Mm -hmm. So this is just watered down vanilla extracts gotcha. is what I use. 
and I'm gonna squirt the queen and the bees in this little container and every frame and every bee inside that box. And it's just gonna be a light mist. I'm trying to get as much of that out as possible. There she is. She's the first one out. Everybody's confused. Everybody's worried about cleaning off. Everybody's got the same smell. Now, how do you know, how long does it take you to figure out that, okay, they've accepted her and things are going well? Usually seven days from the time she releases, you go back seven days later and check her, see if she started laying. She usually starts laying within seven days. Hmm. Now, what's to keep these bees from flying off, getting some pollen and going back to that box? Now, I'm not saying that some of them's not gonna go out and go straight to that box. But since everybody's got the same smell, a lot of times they won't accept them since they've got a different smell. Uh -huh. Now, what do you do with this part right here? You just put that feeder on and put that sugar water on, which is 10 pounds for five quarts of water. Give them a little bit of extra jump. Thank you so much, bee dude, bee dude, the bee dudes. You've made this an interesting year and a half, and I can't wait to see when we actually come up here to my hive and we sling some honey at them. It's coming. That's Just the give payout. them time. Thank you very much.